Hey guys, Oreg here. Today I'm going to do a quick review on an iPhone app and I can't believe that I just said that because I am possibly the worst iPhone user. I constantly fat finger when I uh, try to dial something or email or whatsoever. Long story short, I'm not an app person, but in this particular case, I'd like to make an exception because what I'm about to present to you is a really cool, smart, and easy to learn and use invention, if you will. It's called Music Clock. It's, a, it's an app that allows you to learn scales and play scales and play scales and use these scales over backing tracks and what I'm going to try to do is show you now on the iPhone what the app looks like, give you a, a feel on the functionality and the features but I encourage you to at some point click on the link, it must be somewhere up, up here I believe uh, of the icon and that will take you over to my website where I have a written review and more reference links search to the actual application itself and a website where you can download it from and all that so again we're talking about music clock this is how it looks like you see this yellow icon right here I hope you can see it on camera the yellow one right here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move up closer to the camera and show you real quickly how it works because the good thing is it's very easy and fast to learn. So I hope there is not too much reflection going on right now on camera but this is the app. This is how the icon looks like so I'm going to launch it right now. So you can see it's called Music Clock and it has three screens. I'm going to go back to the first screen which is the screen that you will likely use the least because all it does is you set some general settings like the no naming convention the note naming convention, uh, whether you call this note a B or an H, depends on, on the region where you live, um, whether you want to choose first the scale of your choice or the backing track and I'll explain in a second what that means and uh, you can switch uh, between piano and guitar as far as the audio is concerned. So let me just close that screen here and go back to one of the main screens. So right here you would make a selection of the scale you want to practice and correspondingly a backing track. Now there are several scales available and you just heard it in the background I tapped the icon and it plays me the notes of the harmonic scale. Now uh, there are several scales available here. You see that here as I scroll along. So let's just for example purposes pick the minor pentatonic scale minor pentatonic and you see correspondingly the tool offers me a bunch of tracks. I'm just going to go with the second one if I want to have a quick listen here. So it's a blues with a little bit of a swing feel right up my alley. Perfect. So let's go with that one. So as you can see I have here my scale selected and my track and now I hit let's jam. That takes me over to the next screen and you see in the in right in the beginning the first screen we chose guitar and what you see here at the bottom of the screen is sections of the guitar fretboard indicating the notes or feet or fret positions of the scale of our choice. In this scale the minor pentatonic scale which you can see here in standard notation. So right now we're in the key of C. If I I just gonna hit play here and now I could you take my guitar and just jam along with the help of the fretboard segments right here. They are scrollable. I can go back and forth change the positions, I can blow them up. If I want to practice the scale in a certain position of the fretboard. So, and what's really cool is let's say, okay, you practice the scale in the key of C, but now you want to change to another key. So you just switch to, you just dial here, use the dial and let's go with, I don't know, G sharp in this particular case and you can hear how the key has changed. So that's pretty cool isn't it? I mean it's very easy to use even a technological challenge person like myself had no problems figuring that out within two minutes. I believe it's 299 
You can download it through the iTunes store or just follow the links that I provide you with and then that will take you to the Music Clock website respect or rather the inventors and makers of the app and um, you can learn about how the whole app came about and where you can download it, you can read the blog and more reviews and all that. So again it's called Music Clock and I can only highly recommend it. Let me come a little bit closer once more. You see here the yellow Music Clock icon. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or additional information about the app, leave a comment below. As usual, I invite you to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.